Hello guys, what's up? It's Claire here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Claire, obviously, and I live in Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm gonna be doing a little weekend in my life, and right now, it is immediately after work on a Friday, and I figured I would take you guys over the next couple days in my life and kind of just show you like, what I've been up to, like it's time to catch up, tell you what's been going on, and then like show you what all is going on this weekend because we're starting off hot. We have a really exciting night tonight, so my boyfriend and I are going on a date tonight. So for his birthday, I did a TikTok trend. His birthday was in January, and like I don't know if y'all have seen those TikToks where you do like however many days until their birthday, like a gift a day, um, and like he picked a number out of a like a little cup thing whatever jar and whatever number he got that was the number of the present he opened one of the presents i got him anyway was tickets to drewski who was like the comedian whatever and he's like on a comedy tour right now and so that happens to be today so finally like two months later he gets one of his presents um and so we're so excited and so he is going to be coming home from work in a little bit and um it's like a little bit after four right now and i think the show's at seven but before that i think we're going to go get some food some we're either going to go get like sports bar food or mexican and margaritas um tonight is the women's final four games which i'm kind of sad because i really wanted to watch lsu play but maybe wherever we go eat, they will have that book. We are very pumped for this weekend. Okay, my brows look really crazy right now, but we're gonna like keep brushing them out. Um, I have this like brow gel I used in them and they kind of got a little clumpy, but as I continue to do my makeup, you know, it'll get a little bit better. Um, but anyway, this weekend we have like a lot of plans, but also like no plans. Do y'all ever have weekends like that? Like tomorrow we are going to watch the final four games potentially. And then also Tyler's brother's birthday um, is this weekend and we're celebrating that Sunday and possibly also tomorrow. So I'm not sure exactly what all we're gonna be doing, but I just thought it'd be fun um, to bring you guys along um because i kind of want to just go to like a brewery or go somewhere somewhere fun tomorrow with our friends and like watch the games and i'm gonna do better about vlogging around people the best foundation ever in my opinion is this dior forever skin glow like if you have never tried it i highly recommend i used to use the dior forever foundation it's more of like a matte finish and then one day i discovered the skin glow and it's just it's very expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Like, it smells so good. It leaves such a pretty finish. Under it, I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, filter, flawless filter. All the writing has come off the bottle. Um, and the shade Fair. I really probably need a lighter color. I do have on self tan right now, um, but I need to get, like, a foundation for when I have a tan and a foundation for when I don't. Oh, my gosh. I literally, okay, look how cracked my mirror is um this is literally like a whole different topic but i was moving a piece so a piece of furniture in the room and um i hit my makeup table which i just moved in here um and this fell and i have not had this vanity mirror like really set up in like the two and a half years that i've had it three years um because of, like covid and i just like didn't have my own apartment and then i was kind of like on the go a lot last year so i finally set up my whole little makeup area in our apartment and anyway it cracked but a second ago like i had this it's what i set my camera on i got it from like best buy or amazon or something um and it like sticks to the mirror and it's like normally pretty secure it's fallen a few times but it just fell with my camera and i just had like a heart attack because i know i've replaced this camera like three times um and i no longer have insurance on it because like the warranty finally expired but anyway we're gonna keep getting ready i'm also trying to film a tiktok which i'm not good at so let me know if you have tiktok tips i also have starbucks um it's an iced latte, an extra shot of espresso grande with two pumps of white mocha. I used to get a venti every single time, but the last like month, I realized that honestly, a grande sometimes just tastes better. Like I could, I feel like it just tastes a lot different, even if I get like the same ratios for things. Also, my favorite bronzer to like really snatch the face with is this butter coffee bronzer from physicians formula it's like a darker color and it's so smooth and it smells so good they sent this to me a few years ago along with some other like coffee flavored ones and they all smell so good but i just feel like it looks so good when i have like a tan on i don't like my camera i guess i can move this jar to this angle but um i'm gonna keep getting ready hopefully 
nothing tragic happens again. So we're at Drew Ski right now. I forgot to vlog, but we went to Mexican. We got margaritas. What are your thoughts? The margaritas are very strong. Very strong. Um, we are like... Bears up here were even stronger. We're at the very top of the... Um, Arena. What is this called? Concert hall. Concert hall. Um, it's very much after eight now, though, and he's pretty late. So, oh, I think here he comes. Oh, they did not start the show. They just turned the music up. This is such a lovely way to start off my morning. I just stepped in like a mud puddle. I thought it was just solid dirt, and as soon as I stepped into it, it said. Shrunk. Um, whatever that means, but, ah. The lighting is so dark, like I can't see myself, but I just watched a clip back and I think you guys can see me. So it's Saturday morning, last night was a lot of fun. So Tyler and I went to Mexican. I completely forgot I was vlogging, like I didn't film anything at the Mexican restaurant. Then Drew Ski, I filmed a little something on my phone, but it really like wasn't crowded. It was fun, it was a lot different than I thought. Like if you follow Drew Ski, he's like a comedian on social media and he, it was like a comedy show, but it was also like a talent show. Like he was like signing people. I don't really know, it was funny though. And then we got back and I was so tired um, and I've had really bad allergies this week. So I took some medicine and then we both fell asleep like on the couch. So it was a lot of fun, um, not too exciting after that. And then I woke up this morning at eight and now we are going to the farmer's market and today is gonna be such a fun day. Um, I woke up, I put on some clothes. This is a Gymshark t-shirt, got on some shorts. Um, stepped in this puddle, ruined my shoes. Um, I think it'll come off though for sure. But um, now we are going to take our walk to the farmer's market and if you live in birmingham and you're looking for a farmer's market the market at pepper place it's every saturday from like 7 to 12. i literally am like their biggest salesperson like i tell everyone about it they have such good stuff they have like fresh produce they have meat they have um in the summer they have like a band that plays and like trucks and stuff like it's just so cute i woke up with like a lot of energy this morning and i've been going to the farmer's market like every ooh, every saturday for like the past three saturdays and typically the last few saturdays i've just been getting bread at the farmer's market like they have these sourdough loaves that are so good but i'm trying to like be a little healthier so maybe we'll lean towards the produce today um i really like it in the summer because they have like I don't know, like the best stuff, like okra and peaches and stuff. But we're gonna go see what they have. Also a little Birmingham tour. Oh, there's also like a little farmer's market down here. Um, Tyler and I stumbled across it one day. It is the Birdsong Farmer's Market. Um, I've never been to it to it, but we drove by one day when they were doing it. But um, if you're in Birmingham, this is High Wire. It's a newer brewery. Um, they normally have like a barbecue food truck out here or a pizza one. This is Mayo Well. It's a cocktail bar. If you follow me on Instagram, I go there quite a bit. It's really cute. Well, it's like a tequila bar. Um, the taco truck though, that's the good thing. It's so good. And then where it says Martin Biscuit Company down there, that's where we're going. That's Pepper Place. There's like a Jenny's ice cream, some really good restaurants so this is where the farmers market is it's actually like in the little section in the back but when it gets summertime I think like in a few weeks is when it starts they also will shut down this road over here and it's like just a much bigger farmers market but it's still good it's still really cute um, and then one of my favorite coffee shops red cat is over there and I think I see a line out the door so we probably won't be going there Market. I got a sausage biscuit and I just came out to take Bella on a walk. She only wants my biscuit. She does not want to go to the bathroom. Bella, you could not have this biscuit. You can't. I'll get you your own biscuit. A different version of a biscuit. You cannot have this. Um, but it's so good. They have this stand that has these biscuits every Saturday. And Tyler loves them. They have all different kinds. But yeah, the farmer's market was so cute. Bella, you're not getting this. I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you so much, but no. Okay guys, so Tyler's coming. Um, he went to go get his headphones. It's currently almost 12. So we, what did we do? I brought Tyler his biscuits at the farmer's market. I can show y'all what else I got. I just got some pickle relish and some um, basil, rosemary, something cheese. 
the, the women were super nice and they like talked me into buying them. Um, I forgot to show that part, but I ate my biscuit and then we've been just talking and watching some TV and then now we are going to the gym. Um, and I'm gonna try and vlog like a little bit of the workout. I wanna do like a leg workout today. We, I think it's gonna be like my April mission is gonna be to work out every single day um, of some sort, no matter what it is, cause it's almost swimsuit season. It's almost summer and I'm not where I wanna be. Um, Tyler's about to get in the car though. <laughs> Say, how's it going? How's it going? So I was telling them we're going to the gym and I realized today is April 1st. So I think we need to make it a mission every day of April for me to go to did the you, gym or go you, work out. Did you see Beham? Um, no. The Taylor Swift thing? <laughs> yeah, Beham now. It's like this Instagram page. Um, somebody tagged me in the comments. Um, Beham now. It's like a Instagram page that goes around to like different things in Birmingham. And their April Fool's joke today was saying that Taylor Swift is coming to Protective Stadium. And it was... Oh, they got me at first, too, guys. I got so excited. But yeah, that really hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna lie to <laughs> you. Um, I forgot today was April Fool's too. I was gonna do an April Fool's joke on you. But I couldn't think of a good one. So, you may get one by the end of the day. Mm. We'll see if I can come up with a good one. I believe you'll be the last to know. random change of plans we were on the way to the gym and we forgot that today is the Japanese cherry blossom festival in the botanical gardens I feel like the wind is gonna make the sound bad um, but so we're at like it's basically like right by the zoo so we're right here too and it looks like everybody is here it's a very <laughs> yeah. great Birmingham turn up right now. do you think all these people are here for the um oh my God, there's the actual zoo so yeah there's, there's double parking going what if instead of the gym we just go to the zoo? It's a big deal. <laughs> I feel like you're not gonna be able to hear any of this because of the wind. It's so crowded, like all these bars, those are probably here for the zoo. I feel like we go up this way. I'm glad I took my allergy pill. So Tyler's leading us on our adventure. We are struggling. There's no signs, it's only cars. Um <laughs> I literally don't know how to get there. I know I said I would remember where our car is, but I don't know. I uh, know. <laughs> okay, we finally found it. It's so pretty. There's a lot of people here. I think there's supposed to be water. There's a performance. Okay. Amazing. Like this whole video has been from the car but we decided actually not to go to the gym so we walked around the cherry blossom festival it was cool and everything but it was like so many people it was hot allergies were kicking in and there really wasn't as much as i thought there was going to be so anyway tyler's younger brother's birthday is tomorrow and his mom asked if we could go pick up cupcakes so we're at this bakery called k and j's and we are like in the uptown area um we're at city walk which if you followed me during 75 hard we did so many walks here in city walk it's just so cute and it's so summery but i'm about to go i had to look for parking now i'm about to go in and see if tyler has gotten the cupcakes so that's a cute boutique and then this is where we're going, K and J's. There's also a chicken place on the corner, Eugene's. It's so good. And this is all uptown right here. Um, it's all city walk and it goes so far down. There's like skate park, all that kind of good stuff. It's good. I just got this one. It's <laughs> Not the best angle. I really want to start filming more cooking videos for real. And I feel like this, there's just like not a great angle. I guess if I have my light and stuff, but cooking with Claire. So do you want to come be in it? We're about to go for a little run. Um, Tyler got me some new shoes the other day. So we're going to test these out today to see how they run. Does anybody else have this problem? This is a serious problem and I need to know the answer where your foot falls asleep mid-run. Apparently it is common, I did Google it, 
but I don't know how to fight through that and I've tried like basically running without my shoes even tied um, and it's gotten a little bit better so it is currently 1.30 it got 1.30 so quick so we're about to do like a 20 minute run is pretty much what it takes for me to run two miles it takes you what 15 oh my god it's gonna be so hot out there today too and it's so windy um i feel like we've done so much today but then later we're going to meet some friends at a brewery or somewhere i don't know where yet um to watch the final four games and then tomorrow we have the women's final game which is gonna be exciting when is the championship game for the boys monday Probably. that's exciting um so cool i'm about to drink a spritz of water and then get some gum i cannot run without gum and then oh time to go okay so i am not fast but we just finished our run tyler's much faster than me it took me like 10 and a half minutes per mile we're in the bedroom this is miss bella and i am about to do some abs and then mr tyler i'm going to show you ignore the mess we have to do some laundry um tyler how you feeling that was bad, that was a bad time. You did good though. Four minutes faster than me. I look so rough right now. We just finished running and then we did an ab workout inside. And then I, f I feel like it's been like forever since I've showed y'all like some of my favorite stuff. Um, I talked about this on the podcast. This gave me the worst fake tan ever. This tanologist express tan self tan water. Um, the best self tanner in the world to me for the for the price is the Ulta Beauty Express Tinted Mousse. That's what I'm wearing now. Um, I still have blotches on my hands. That's literally from the stuff from last week. It has not gone away. Um, but also something else I love is this vanilla shea, shea sugar scrub. It's like a newer scent that they have. Um, I've only used like a dabble of this. I've been killing the body butter. Is that what it is? Yeah, you can see I'm like almost done. It smells so good. Like if you're one of those girls that like loves to smell like a cookie, that's what it smells like, like a cupcake. It just smells so good. And then another thing I got is a tongue scraper from Amazon. It was like $8 for a pack of two and they're stainless steel. Use it in the morning and at night before you brush your teeth. Y'all, the stuff that comes off of your tongue is absolutely disgusting, but in like the best way possible. It's like honestly insane. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the things I've been obsessed with. Also, as far as like skincare and stuff, I finally went back to my Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I just used the Alicia Keys Moisturizer until I ran out and it was so good. Um, I just wanted something easy, so I went back to my tried and true. And then I've also been trying um, Hyaluronic Acid, but I think it's actually low-key been breaking me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is that is my update. Christmas candle over there. Also, I need to replace the shower curtain. I want to sh start showing y'all more stuff about, of the apartment now that like I officially like live here and stuff. Um, but my shower curtain that I need to hang up, it's like a silver sparkly one is in there and I just haven't put it up. This was Tyler's. And then we're gonna make this bathroom like super girly. Um, this is officially my shower. I have my New York picture over there. I had to hang it up right there because I accidentally ripped a hole in the wall. That's a different story. You can see over here it needs some cleaning up. Um, this is my whole little makeup section that I've kind of showed. But I need to get like some makeup organizers and just get all of this to be like super neat and like everything to have a place. Because right now it's kind of just like scattered everywhere. And if you're a girl, you know how much of a mess you can make while you get ready. But yeah. And then also new bedding. New bedding is coming. Okay, so I haven't showed y'all like any of this room really, but um, I put my old furniture in here, but I'm about to have like a mid afternoon snack. It's like three o'clock um, and this is what I've been eating like every day for breakfast. It's so good and healthy. I've been eating vanilla Greek yogurt. It's like 15 grams of protein, chia seeds, flax seeds, which are also so good for you. And like I used to eat them every day and then I kind of stopped um, and they like fill you up. And then a dash of cinnamon, the smallest little drizzle of honey, and then like five strawberries. And it is so good. It's so filling and it's like crunchy but creamy and it's 
amazing and then these alani news are literally my favorite things in the world the peach ones juicy peach they're so good hawaiian shaved ice is also a favorite um obsessed with these so i'm about to eat these while i also do my makeup over here i'm not even going to acknowledge the mess in the back but this is what we're wearing this romper is from princess polly um i feel like i could have actually sized down it kind of fits more like a dress so use my code doll for 20 percent off and i'm so excited because i have another collab coming up with them soon and then also um, just Air Forces because we're gonna be out at a brewery. Okay, and so this is the final makeup look and Yeah, um, I tried to put on a lot of setting spray because it is so hot outside and I'm definitely gonna end up like pulling my hair up But this is like the tenth time we vlogged from this car <laughs> Today we had to get the merchandise from last night great concert Drewski mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Put a comment down below if you think Tyler should be in a like a boyfriend tag video. What's a boyfriend tag video? It's like where you just ask answer random questions that like really nobody asks, like common questions. Okay, now we're in Avondale. It's so hard to vlog with you because you're you're five foot taller than me. Um, but now we're going to Avondale or we're in Avondale and we're going to a place called Ferris, I think. Or Tyler. Um, okay. So this is Tyler. Fit of the day. Looking like a oh, looking like a model. Oh, that's a place called the Goose that a lot of people go to. I think we're taking a right here. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute, huh? Boop. We got our chicken dinners already ate half of it. Say hello. <laughs> Woo. Okay, we're still here at Ferris. How are you feeling? It's really pretty out here. Uh, okay. I feel very off. Awesome. The wind is, is a little over deep, over those. It's so windy. Everything else is amazing. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, if you live in Birmingham, they also have another location in Trestle. Beautiful. The Ferris. The Ferris on 41st is what it's called here, I think. Ferris on 41st. Okay, first stop of this Sunday morning, good old Starbucks. Let's go. Good morning, guys. I don't even feel like y'all can properly see me right now, um, but we are in line at Starbucks, and it is Sunday morning. I woke up with the most upset tummy today, TMI. Um, it's currently 8.45. I've been up for like an hour and a half. I woke up at like 7.15. I took a shower, washed my hair. Um, last night, I think the last thing you saw was like us hanging out at the apartment. Um, we went out, we went to a place in Birmingham called The Finnick. It's like DJ dancing and stuff. I think that might be my last time there for a while. I feel like number one, I'm getting a little bit too old. And number two, I feel like every time you go out on a weekend, you wake up the next day like so tired and like, blah and i didn't want to feel like that today so i pushed myself to get out of the bed and run my errands this morning um because i have a busy day so madison and i have been recording our podcast on sundays if you don't follow us we're magically chaotic um and because she's in tax season and so it's really like the only day of the week that's been good for us to record right now and then later today we have um kyle who's tyler's younger brother he has his birthday dinner and he doesn't know about it i think it's a surprise so um I am sorry I'm reloading my Starbucks card right now um he we're going to eat for his birthday and then I think do something else so we also need to clean the apartment and there's like four people we have Tyler and I have a big couch four people staying on the couch right now from last night so I decided to get up and get out and hopefully they'll be awake when I get back because I really want to do a grocery haul and I feel like there's always someone in my apartment so um I can never really vlog in there like too much but anyway um i ordered a venti ice latte with an extra shot of espresso and two pumps of white mocha and then a ham and cheese croissant this morning um but anyway i woke up this morning got a shower washed my hair shaved my legs moisturized my body got in some cozy clothes um and now i'm getting starbucks and then we're gonna go to publix and aldi i go to aldi to get our chicken either aldi or costco um but i think we're gonna go to publix i think this week i'm gonna change up my meals because i've been like either cooking way too much food and like doing these crazy meals or either just like it's chicken potatoes and broccoli so get away This right here, the mesquite smoked turkey is the best. The boar's head. We got some shallots. Got some potatoes, oranges, lemons. Tyler could eat baked potatoes every single day. 
Okay, I got four bags of Caesar salad because they were bound to get one free. But literally, like, me and Tyler will eat Caesar salad like nobody's business. Like, last night when he got home from the bar, he ate one of these. And then for lunch this week, I ate one. Like, you cannot go wrong with a Caesar salad. Does anyone know why olive oil is, like, so expensive? <laughs> so expensive. Okay, so this Kerrygold Irish butter so random but it's literally the best butter <laughs> it's so good um don't even know why i'm over here besides the butter Let's see a bagel sounds so good right now okay guys now we are off to target to get some toiletry things um this is just where i prefer to go so let's go 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 okay Ooh, those jars these are so cute Oh my god, these are so cute, like on the counter with like flour and stuff in them. Aww. Mm, bad buggy. This is so cool to me every single time. Okay, so I just like did not vlog in Target, but basically I got like toilet paper, paper towels, bread, because like on the Target app they do deals all the time, and I saw I had like a small discount for bread. Um, I got some crackers for that cheese that I got at the farmer's market. I got q tips. I got strawberries because Publix. I can't remember why I didn't get strawberries in there. I think they like weren't on sale. Um, we needed these like sweep, sweeper sweeper refills. Oh, and then I got Bella some dog food. She loves this like fresh pet dog food and I feel bad feeding her like kibble all the time. So um, I would show all this when we get home, but I feel like there's gonna be a bunch of people in the apartment. Yeah, so I am back. I have been so on the go today. Um, I put on a little bit of mascara and then some earrings just to kind of make myself look presentable, but I just unloaded the groceries. There's people here. Tyler's in there eating him some Cracker Barrel he got delivered. Um, and it's almost 12, so I'm about to go to Madison's to record the podcast. And our podcast requires so much equipment. So, like, the recording things, like, we keep at her house, like, the mics and the headphones. Um, but the light, the tripod, the camera, my computer, all the cords and stuff, I bring that. So, it's so hard to remember every time, like, okay, I have to go through my checklist of what all I need to bring. Also, today in Target, I got some new concealers. I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I got... The this one for a light shade and then I got another one to contour with so I got this concealer I think in the shade toast and I'm gonna use it to contour um, not right now but maybe later today when I get ready for dinner um, but I really want a contour stick so if you have a brand whether it's Sephora Ulta let me know I think does makeup by Mario have one um, I have one from KKW Beauty I think I might have tossed it when I cleaned out all my makeup but I really want to get a new contour stick. I have not like bought new makeup randomly in so long. Okay guys, so it is now 3.30 and Madison and I just finally got through filming the podcast. We talked for like two hours before we started. Um, so I didn't vlog much there, but I'm about to pull into Publix because it's 3.30 and we have dinner at six at a place called The Southern and I am starving and I think I'm gonna go get sushi. And if you live near Publix, they literally have the best sushi. Not like the best sushi, but like the best for the price. So we're gonna go grab some. Back with Tyler. Say hello. <laughs> Watching the LSU be Iowa. Unless something happens. What she say? Oh, she's at four. She's at four minutes left to play with four cows. Lay down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, new. My camera's about to die, but Tyler, would you like to um, do a little outfit of the day? We're going to eat for Kyle's birthday. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's like a weird lady. Super swaggy. Keep it simple with the Nike joints and the new balance mix up. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm wearing an old Princess Polly romper actually. Literally <laughs> from way before. First thing I ever bought from Princess Polly, I think. Um, barely have on any makeup, but we're running a little late, so we're gonna go to the southern. And if they're crowded, they say we're going to get Mexican. Uh yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, we get the cup. Hey guys, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um, I ended up vlogging fully through that Monday, but then I realized this vlog's kind of long, so I'm going to film like a work week in my life next. Let me know if you'd like to see that, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!